Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily download and install PyCharm ID. So PyCharm is an integrated development environment and it is one of the most popular IDs to run JAMA programs. It is cross-platform and the current version is 2020. So let's now see how we can download it. At first, go to the browser. We are using Google Chrome. You can use any browser. Here type PyCharm press enter on pressing enter you can see pycharm id is visible python id jetbrains.com is the official website because jetbrains developed pycharm so let's now click it on clicking the official website will be visible that is jetbrains.com here we have reached the download page directly here you can click on download so two versions are visible to download PyCharm on Windows. Here it is professional community. So professional one is paid, but you can use is as a trial version before paying. But here we will focus on the community version, which is free and open source. Here it is written free and open source. So I'll click on it to download. Now the download should start on the left bottom. You can see the download started. You need to wait for a few seconds. Now the download completed, the exe file is visible here. Click on the arrow and open to install. Let's minimize this. Now the setup started to install PyCharm. Click on next. Here you need to choose the install location. By default, it will create JetBrains folder and program files. And then it will create PyCharm community edition folder and install there. If you want to change installation location, click on browse. And then you can change from here. I'll click on cancel. I'll keep the same location. It will take 766 MB. So you should have ample amount of space. Now click on next. On clicking next, you can create a desktop shortcut. Yes, I want to create a desktop shortcut 64 bit. Do you want to add open folder as project under PyCharm? No, it's not needed. Create associations. No, not always. So I won't check it. I can update the path variable here. You can set it. And now click on next. Now you can see on clicking next, you need to choose the start menu folder. Keep it as it is and click on install. Now the installation started. So guys, we have successfully installed. Now you need to reboot. I'll manually reboot. Click on finish, then go to start and restart from here. Go to power and restart. So guys, we have restarted our system. Now you can see the desktop shortcut is visible for PyCharm ID. So in this way, we installed PyCharm on Windows 10 operating system. So guys, thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, do subscribe to our channel Amit Things.